Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new QGIS Stack API plugin to download satellite imagery and calculate NDVI for the imagery. If you haven't installed the plugin yet, you can open QGIS and head over the plugins menu and open the QGIS plugin manager. Inside the QGIS plugin manager, you can search for Stack API. And then you can install it using the install button here. To open the plugin, you can use the plugins menu or you can use the web menu or you could use the plugins icon which is available on the toolbar, the QGIS toolbar. You could use the plugins menu. I'm going to open the, the plugin. So this is the plugin main widget and when the plugin is installed it can be configured with five stack catalogs as you can see from the list there. For the purpose of this video I'm going to use the S search catalog. Can, the plugin also contain, contains a collection box, group box, which shows the available collection for the current selected catalog. You could also fetch collection use the button for the fetch collections. If you click if you just click that and then it will go and fetch collections that are available on the catalog and then they will, it will populate it in this list here. The plugin also contains different filters. One of them is filter by date where you can input the start and the end date. Another filter is filter by extent where you can manually input the extents or you can calculate from the loaded QGIS layer, the map canvas extent or you can draw on the canvas. Also there is an advanced filter where you can import a filter query here that corresponds to the available filter language That's, that can be either star query or SQL JSON. Uh, for this video I'm going to use only the extent filter and I'm going to select the Sentinel 2 L2A Cogs collection. So after selecting the desired collection and setting up the extent, I'm going to search. Here are the results of the search. You can see they contain items and each item has the item ID or title, the date it was acquired and the collection it belongs to. I'm going to select the item that has low or no cloud cover for the NDVI analysis. Just go into the next page to check if there is an item which contains imagery with a low cloud cover. Um, let's go to the third page. So you can see this item contains images that has low cloud cover. To load the imagery inside QGIS, you can click the view asset button where we can view the assets that are available for the current item. So for the NDVI, we need the LED band and the infrared band. So we can just using the add asset as layer button, we can add the bands as layers by just clicking the button. Okay, so the red band has already been added. Now let's add the infrared. Okay, after finishing adding the bands, we just close the plugin. And then you can see that that's the LED band. 
and that's the infrared band the next step is to load the raster calculator which is available in the raster menu and then here I'm going to input the formula for calculating the VI which the formula is taking the subtraction subtraction of these bands and then divide by a summation so I will input the subtraction first then divide by the summation okay I'll just put the name of the output layer in DVI then I'll click OK to start the operation so you can see there's a dialog here uh, which intends to show us progress but sometimes takes a while to show the progress bar Now the progress bar has been shown. Usually it takes a lot of time for this to finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna restart after this is finished. Now the calculation is complete we can see the NDVI here what we could do is we could add the style for it go to properties I'm going to load the grid. you can define your own style here but I'm going to load the style that I already have for it then click OK yeah now we can see it better so that's our NDVI and that's how we can use the QGIS Stack API plugin to download imagery and uh, calculate NDVI in, inside QGIS for more documentation about the plugin you can just click on the documentation here and then it will open a page where you can see more information about the plugin that's all thank you for watching